Let's jump on in. So on the left hand side, we have composing and vision and sound, Jet Them One. And on the right hand side, we have an animation called the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing and Vision and Sound, Episode 5, Changes, Environment, Role, Open, Dreams, a lot of, a lot of chapters. In today's episode, we re-entered with a lot of reflection. Um, many chapter episodes are becoming a thing in this series, including this one, four, um, we have a score called Je Tem 1, which you just saw, and it's very distracting to see this moving over here, so let's just go there. And uh, we got inspired. We picked that scale up by ear watching a YouTube video and decomposed it as a 2552 pentatonic parallel. Yes, we did. And then it turns out that it's the same seven notes as what we called our new Raga Mode 1 and Mode 2. So... Uh, we actually have the same seven notes that can be looked at in three different tonality ways. And we spent some time to uh, review what that was. Here are the seven notes, G, C, E flat, B, D, F, A flat. And sometimes G is a neutral, sometimes it's a major urge, sometimes E flat is a major mode, sometimes it's a neutral. The point is one note is never the same function across the three uh, the three ways of looking at it. Uh, not only that, the, the modes in the are different. Anyway, that's kind of cool. So we ended up composing a second piece of music. The first one you heard was called Je Tem 1, which was uh, using the third way of looking at it, which was a 2, 5, 5, 2, 5 note minor, 5 note major. All of these are five note minor, five note major that add up to seven notes. Um, Borderlands one is where we said, never mind, here they are, here's the, here they are, mode one, mode two, mode uh, jetem. You know, it shows what we just showed you as a table. Let's just try to arrange the 35 chords and the 21 dyads in increasing order. And so we arbitrarily said we'll start on the A flat below middle C and just march our way up. So this is what it sounds like. And then we made another animation using that. And so our goal with the animations was to do something called scene within scene. We want the we want the stage, which is the white box, to be moving. In this case it's a sine wave. And we inside the stage we want an actor and the actor is uh, being driven by music. Well in this case nothing nothing is driving it. It just it just bounces back and forth and uh, you know looks entertaining. So the second pass at doing a scene inside of scene is using the Borderlands 1. So it goes like this. What's happening here is we took Borderlands, which is just a set of chords that go from the lowest to the highest possible bottom note, ran it through Audacity, and reversed it in the other direction. And uh, we can actually show you what that looks like. Show you what that looks like. And we overlaid them on top of one another. So this is what you just heard uh, going forward. I should say solo. But if we make this be the solo. 
but they're going backwards. So if you look up here, these are trichords, and then we turn them into dyads over here, just two notes at a time. But when we reversed it, the, the dyads start, and then the triads finish it. So they're a little louder because there's three notes at once instead of two. So just for grins, you know, we put them on top of each other and got... And we also spent some time to line them up perfectly so that the, the grand ending of one was the grand beginning of the second and so forth. So anyway, that's where the music came from for this animation. And then we uh, worked on the animation to... Oh my God... We had to get so many different scenes in there. Stop it. This is what one of the actors is doing. This is what the other actor is doing. And then we overlaid them on each other and moved it to the right. And, and this was inspired by our work with the Carol Meredith uh, Spirit Light Dance Company because they were showing us that not only does an actor or an avatar animate, like do a, a dancing animation, um, but they do it in a duet with another actor. So we have two actors here that are each doing their own moves to prove it. Once again, watch, they're not... They never bump into each other, and they just move out of the way, and they're, they're coordinated for values of coordination. Um, at the same time, uh, the choreographer will take two avatars who are doing an animated dance and move them as a set into the center of the stage. So they're kind of, uh, let's say they're just walking on stage. Well, all they're doing is walking animations, but they have to be moved forward into the center stage while the corps de ballet is leaping around in the background. So anyway, that was kind of the inspiration for, for this animation. Plus we gave it the mirror uh, over title because we were using uh, reflected images here. So we got that done. The third thing we did is we wanted to work some more with the Borderlands scale, Borderlands 3. Now the interesting thing about Borderlands is it do, it's not going anywhere at the moment. Jetem went somewhere. The reason Jetem went somewhere is because we treated it as uh, we we honored the neutral going to the neutral. Uh, we, we actually told an energy story. Um, so we're we're gonna play uh, Jetem for you in its entirety without the animation, and it sounds like this. So it ends on an urge. So you feel how that's the traditional uh, urgy, urgy part one and then rest, rest part two. And it's annotated and you can see that we honored the note functions of the seven notes. What do they do when you're in the um, C2552557 tonality. But Borderlands 2, or 1 rather, it doesn't have any of that. It, it's just straight three note chords going all the way from the bottom to the top using seven notes. It's kind of an automatic generator. So we've been exploring working with um, Borderlands 3, which sounds like this. <laughs> Why would we do that? You might say, well, number one, we're just exploring what are the uh, intervals of a um,
Remember that it's A flat, B, C, D, E flat, F, G, and those are seven notes, and every every note, you know, A flat to B is a one step, A flat to C is a two step, A flat to three is a three step, four step, five step, six steps, and if you go to the octave, that's a seven step. So that's all we did. We just played these out. But then we want to play them against a poem that we've got called The Borderlands. And we love this uh, vocaloid effect. So what we did is we exported this over to here as a MIDI, slowed it way down, and then we the reason the, there are these funny little um, let me show you that in a jack this down to 45 so you hear it. So in a minute we're going to play um, part on the left and part on the right, and then hear what it sounds like with a vocal overlay. Like that. So here's what it sounds like over here. So uh, that concludes today's stream because we are in mid work on this. But you can see that what we did is basically take all of these interval jumps and we just cycle. If we played this the rest of the way through, we're only about halfway through. Um, these these lyrics would repeat. So what we like about what we've done is we've we wanted to do. Uh, scene inside scene. We wanted to have a moving actor inside of a moving stage. We did two animations. We showed you that. That was the magic animation. Uh, these things here. Um, we wanted to do more multimedia projects. We didn't talk about it, but we took one of our video footages and got it all sorted out, getting it ready for our video edit. It seems like we have more stills and footage to work with than we have music to add, and we decided that we want to keep working with our own music. So we need to keep making music that we can then go back and add to our video edits. Um, uh, and at the same time, we like that we added some lessons we learned working with the Spirit Light Dance Company. For example, these animations have a start and an end on them because we're timing them. We're learning how to move uh, time the actors in the stage and all that. So our ideas for next time are uh, uh, uh. basically keep working with the tri-scale, the Borderlands scale, more scores, more animations, um, the sestet. Uh, we have some ideas on how to, I mean, some of those jumps go perfectly with the mood of the, of the, of the poem. And then we got some vid edits to begin working with. Shout outs to Miss Cleo, who kept us inspired. Silent Lurker is always there in the background. Steady Worker. Helene, whose uh, fashion show footage we're going to work with. And Patch, who's a whole new, the Babylon Gardens footage uh, we're going to work with. We got, we, got the, we got their footage sorted out. We still need to sort out Helene's. We ought to put that in here. Um, uh okay we're gonna do that right now babylon gardens all of these need music we already did the stills and stuff so for this one we just want music now it is an option it is an option to go get you know youtube royalty free music but we said for now we're, we're going to continue to work with our own music. You know, maybe we'll get desperate. But it just seems it seems like we grew have grown up with music. Everybody has, and 
if we work with music that we've heard before, uh, where are we going with it? You know, we're, it's true that many of our compositions have uh, allusions or shout outs to them, to music we have heard before, and we're still working within the creative boundaries of custom scales that we came up with. So if we can get something that sounds jazzy instead of one of our scales, more power to us, and we still feel good about it that it, we worked within the bounds of, of, of doing it inside of that. Um, if we found up something that sounded Disney-ish, but it was within a custom scale, you know, again. So can we come up with things that are like Babylon Garden, Mesopotamia? Can we come up with things that are, you know, fashion show, dramatic, boing, boing, strike the pose? We'll find out. And can we do it using the Borderlands scale? Well, that's what we're going to set out to try. So, so, tune in next time to see what happens. Do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming.